Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. I start off your reading with a romance angel. Also, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. And for those of you interested in learning how to read the traditional tarot deck, my tarot training is down below. So first card we have coming out is Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And we have Release Your Ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I hear you definitely have somebody that you could be attracted to right now. Um, and vice versa we do have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self your bond deepens so for some of you there's definitely someone here that is interested in you we have give it time here at the bottom of, of the deck everything in divine timing let things flow okay so what are the messages for aquarius health Health issues could arise. Of course, it could be something as simple as a cold. Uh, but for some of you, you could be uh, just very focused and very health conscious at this time. Or that could be the advice. Um, they just told me drink more water. It could be as simple as drinking more water. Uh, but I do feel like health it could be something you guys are focused on. We have spy. Someone's got their eye on you doing their research. Okay. So we have moving and fire sign. For some of you, you could be relocating, traveling. Um, for some of you, you could be moving in with a partner, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, you could be dealing with this person. I have this strongly in your chart. Confession. Okay. Someone has to tell you something. Could be a water sign. Maybe this person is going to tell you that they're attracted to you. We have distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant at this time. Let me one more card for Aquarius. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So we have an earth sign here at the bottom. So I feel like there's definitely someone that's interested in you. It could be fire sign, earth sign, water sign. It doesn't really matter, but I do feel like you could be beginning a cycle with somebody or ending a cycle with somebody. What are the messages for Aquarius? I already feel like I'm talking to two groups of Aquariuses. For some of you, um, you're talking to somebody new or new love is coming into your life. For some of you, you are in the process of walking away from someone or maybe you just have walked away from someone. We have I am blocked. Maybe somebody's having a hard time expressing how they feel. I don't understand. Childhood trauma. For some people, they could be going through um, healing some childhood trauma or just healing in general. Uh, we have I'm obsessed with you. So that could be why that I was seeing that spy card. Maybe this person watches you uh, silently. I'm scared of rejection. So for some of you, if this person has not told you that they're attracted to you, that could be why. So we're one of the messages for Aquarius. I am better with my mind than my heart. That could definitely be y'all. <laughs> or of course, this could be this person as well. Or maybe this person is having a really hard uh, time expressing themselves. How could you ever forgive me? Um, forgive the mess I've made. Okay, so yeah, for some of you, maybe there's an issue. You could be walking away from this cycle if somebody has, um, they're telling me fucked you over in some sort of way. This could have been recently. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. So yeah, somebody definitely could have really messed things up or, you know, created some distance between uh, you and them. They could feel lonely right now because maybe you have distanced yourself or cut them off for some of you. You just told me time. I really feel like somebody needs time. I wish I could fully be honest with you. I can't take it anymore. So yeah, somebody really wants to express how they feel. It's like maybe for some reason they feel like they can't be honest. These feelings are eating me alive. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like somebody is not telling you something. Whether um, this is a relationship that you were in, were in, beginning, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be love. It could be a um, friendship, family member. But I definitely feel like there's somebody that has to tell you something. Emotions overwhelm me and painful memories. So somebody's really going through something here. And for some reason, I it could be you. But for some reason, I feel like it is not you. I feel like it is somebody that you're dealing with that is really going through it right now. Okay. Spirit, what are the messages Aquarius' this person wants to tell them? 
gossip. I hope this person talks about you. Whether it's a new person, old person, whoever this is. This person definitely talks about you. Maybe they talk to um, their friends about you. Ooh, jealous bitches. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with some jealousy issues here. Could be some friends. Okay, that could be, okay. That could be why there's gossip about you. For some of you, this is not even love. For some of you, this is a friend situation. Um, yeah, jealous bishop, but jealous bitches could be gossiping about you. Well, just know if people are talking shit because they're jealous. Pregnant, okay. For some of you, you could be expecting. Or this could be for the future. What are the messages? Okay. Saving your pictures on my phone. Capricorn. Okay, for some of you can be done with the Capricorn. They can be saving your pictures. I can't express myself. Okay. Yeah, I told my friends about you. I feel like somebody's gossiping. Like, I'm feeling two messages from this gossip card. I feel like, for one, your person that uh, has not expressed how they feel about you is telling their friends, like, yeah, I really like Aquarius, but I do not even know what to say. Would they even like me back? And then also you have jealous bishops, bitches that are gossiping about you as well. So there's a lot to talk about you. Ooh, driving by your house slash job. I get this card for you guys a lot. Somebody really is obsessed with you. That feels like an ex. And, you know, I'm going to put this over here. Because I try to separate the energies. I always talk, like, when I do, especially these readings, I'm definitely talking to multiple groups. I definitely feel that this is an old person. Um, ex, whatever the case is. Driving by your house. Going by your job. So, okay. We have broke ass coming out. I feel like that goes over here fake happy okay so i'm getting as well that this person from the past for some of you they could be like acting like they're good acting like they're happy they're not i'm guilty they could definitely be guilty of something um you know if they mess things up i put you above everyone fucking multiple men so there's definitely gonna be multiple men multiple women So yeah, for those of you that are like on and off with somebody, dealing with whatever this is, this person's guilty of something. Hmm, my man wants you. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here by jealous bitches. Maybe this is why somebody's talking shit. Maybe they feel we have gold digger here. So broke ass and gold digger. Maybe somebody was using you for money. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like somebody could be insecure. Like maybe they feel like their man is interested in you or... Maybe that's just an insecurity that they have. Giving like a jealous friend group type of energy. Yeah, codependent. For some of you, somebody could be using you for money or were using you for money. They could be guilty of that. Working on my money. I feel like that's your message. For a lot of you, you could just be focused on yourself, focused on your money. Um, this person could be trying to come back, but I feel like for a lot of you, you are not even interested. I do feel like there is somebody on your radar, however. Um, somebody new that is interested in you. Somebody could be pregnant. But then I just got pregnancy scare as well. We have abusive Aries. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Aries here. Uh, that's abusive. Queen of Wands. So yeah, could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody can't let you go because I, I really feel from this energy i feel like you've already let this person go or you don't want this person back and it's like they can't let you go i'm gonna try to just focus on the new person because for a lot of you i feel like you've already let this go but they're very strong in your energy because they continue to think about you drive by your house drive by your job you know try to get your attention i feel like on social media maybe they post shit to try to get your attention and i feel like you're over here working on your money and this person's still broke Codependent. Maybe they got with somebody else because they need money. Yeah, messing with multiple people maybe because they need money. There's something about money. So what is the energy surrounding this new person coming in? Hmm. Damn, I'm trying to take your person. Okay, you got some friends over here. <clears throat> Frenemies. Whatever. Um... Yeah, jealous bitches. 
there could be somebody that's trying to take your person. And I feel like for a lot of you, maybe one of your friends, or this, I don't know, hopefully it's just for some of you or none of you. But um, I feel like you left this person. You, you're leaving this person. Could be this fire sign, whoever. Um, and it's like one of your friends or so-called friends is going to go try and take your person. So, yeah. Could be a Queen of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Pentacle, Capricorn. But it's like, even though your friend or whoever this pro clearly they're not your friend, but this acquaintance here that is trying to take your person, it's like your person still only wants you. But yeah, I definitely feel you got somebody that was jealous from you from the get-go with this person. And now that you guys are broken up, this person's going to be... So yeah, don't... Careful with these people that you're hanging out with or associate with unhappy relationship yeah it's like they're not happy anyway interested you got somebody here that is interested in you i feel like there's a lot of drama and it feels like you guys are not even paying attention to this but there's a lot of drama happening behind the scenes it's like just happening around you and i feel like you're not even paying attention to this shit it's just gossip so yeah, I would say biggest message from this, be careful who you, yeah, uh-huh, fake friends. Be careful who you're kicking it with, talking to. I hide how I truly feel. Yeah, there's somebody interested here that hides how they truly feel. They could still be healing from something. I'm still healing. Or what are the messages for Aquarius? Damn, this is okay. My girl slash man is jealous of you. So there is definitely a situation here. Somebody's man wants you. Something like that. And it's like, this person, they know it or they're intuitively picking up on it. Or they question it or something like that. So yeah, I, I would check your friends. I don't know why, but I feel this. you got fake friends here. And maybe you're not aware of it. But there's a lot of gossip about you. And I don't know why, but I'm feeling like it could be multiple friends. Like, I don't know if there's like a friend group or something. Like maybe somebody's in a relationship and there's a friend group going on. And I feel like this person could be wondering like, damn, does my man want Aquarius? Does Aquarius want my man? Something like that. I always talk about you. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, this new person that's interested in you, they hide how they feel, but they talk about you to their friends. Okay. What are the messages for Aquarius? Damn. Messing with multiple women, messing with multiple men. So do know, of course, probably not for everybody. But if you are dealing with somebody on and off and you're questioning if they're messing with multiple people, they are. Okay. What are the messages for Aquarius? Soul contract. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is for this new person here that's interested. It's like, maybe this is why they can't express how they feel. They're really... But it's like they can't let you go. They can continue to think about you. You guys have a soul contract here. They definitely feel a strong attraction here for each other. But it's like at the same time, you could be releasing your ex or they could be releasing their ex. Like it feels like, um, it doesn't feel like with this new person, like it doesn't feel toxic because I feel like you guys have not developed anything yet. But I do feel like they acknowledge that something needs to happen first. So they have to still heal from something before they can come forward towards you. Don't give up on this. So it's like, I feel like this person, they want to come towards you really bad, but they don't want to lose their opportunity is kind of what I'm getting here. There's, there's an element of needing to be patient with this new person. A couple cards coming out here okay so we have swinger somebody could be um into that you know messing with multiple people dealing with multiple partners i just got sex parties as well somebody could be involved in that i lie about how i feel i know you have options okay so somebody definitely is not being very expressive here they're aware you have options or they assume you have a lot of options maybe this is another reason why they hold back staying because of finances yeah i definitely feel like that goes for this codependent energy over here the obsessed x i feel like that's what that is hmm. so do know this message is probably only for some of you of course but do know if somebody left you or if you left somebody and they immediately jumped in another situation this person is extremely codependent first of all they're still obsessed with you but it's like maybe they live with somebody or something like that 
I, I just I just want to say don't listen to a word this person says. I don't know why if you have an ex obsessed ex, don't listen to a word that they say. Because I feel like they're just telling somebody else something something else to get what they want. Leo just popped out for somebody you can be done with the Leo. Taurus, Virgo, could be an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They didn't change. Okay, so do know for some of you that were considering going back or um, this person's trying to like convince you to come back to them, just know they haven't changed. So what are the messages for Aquarius? Ooh. Okay, some of these toxic here we have dickmatized as well. Okay, and I'm feeling like this could be the person that your um, your person is talking to now. So yeah, I would be careful if you're questioning should you take them back. This could be illness, sickness, STDs. Be very careful about that. Mm. Okay, they just told me don't get dickmatized. I feel like this person may try to manipulate you uh, by coming back or like. Uh, like sexually, like maybe they'll try to get you to stay. So definitely be aware of that. Okay. We have fixed sign. For some of you can be done with a fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius. What's the other one? Scorpio. Let me love you. Sagittarius. There could be a Sag here um, that wants to come forward. It's going to be this new person here. Yeah, okay. So again, be very, very careful when um, I feel like this person that wants to come back or this person that's messing with multiple women, it's like maybe they got some sort of disease. Maybe they caught something, uh, caught an STD of some sort. Definitely be careful when they try to come back. Yeah, they could definitely be messing with multiple people. Swinger. So be very careful. What are the messages for Aquarius? Capricorn flipped over in the deck. Can be done with an earth sign. You make me happy. There could be a Capricorn here that you make very happy. I could see a future with you. Black magic. Okay. I just got sexual magic as well. We have best head ever. So whether you've been intimate with this person or not, they could be thinking about you sexually. I feel like this person's trying to manifest you here as well. They don't want to see us together. This could be friends or family even. Yeah, for some reason, I feel like this new person is holding back because of factors that maybe you are unaware of. Maybe this is what they're talking about. Like their fan or it could be about family or maybe they're talking to their friends about this. Texting other women. Yeah, I'm, mm. for some of you that are dealing, I feel like somebody is lying to you. I like, I don't feel like it's a new person. I feel like it's the group that is dealing with maybe somebody on and off over here. That could be why we have release your ex. Because somebody is being very toxic and I definitely feel like they're lying about shit. They are texting other women. They are messing with other women or men. And maybe they just try to keep you interested. Maybe, maybe they have good sex or whatever. They try to keep you interested so you'll stay or you'll help them out or you know, whatever. So what are the messages for Aquarius? I'll pull a couple more here. And then I will get the advice. But yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling multiple energies in this reading. Ooh, okay. We have paying for sex and addictions. Now this doesn't have has necessarily have to be like physical sex. Um, could be porn sites, investing and things like that, strippers, whatever it is. This person could be paying money out. This could be why they're broke. They got broke ass here. So <laughs> I feel like this could be what they're spending their money on. We have addictions here as well. This person could have a, like a sex addiction, a porn addiction. We got toxic friends here. There, there's definitely an energy of some toxic friends. So bring me a few more messages for Aquarius. emotional okay so it could be very emotional right now could be you could be this person i feel like the, for some reason i feel like this could be the new person they have painful memories here so some in childhood trauma i feel like your new person maybe 
they're not coming forward because they're dealing with some seriously emotional shit. And I feel like it has nothing to do with you, but um, some serious emotional shit. I want to leave him or her. So somebody may need to leave a situation. That could be your energy. Wanting to leave this person alone. Okay. So we do have gaslighting. I'm definitely feeling that here with this person uh, that wants to come back emotionally independent. I feel like this could be your energy here. I act like it's just sex. I feel like that's this person. Like maybe they're like, oh, I'm not even interested in you. No, they are. They're very obsessed with you. It's like maybe they don't want you to feel like that. Um, we have daydreaming about you. You were made for me. So I feel like this is this new person. I feel like this new person really acknowledges the connection you guys have. Maybe they acknowledge that there's a soul contract even if this person is spiritual. Maybe they know this. Uh, but I feel like there's some things they need to work out before they can come forward towards you. So energies overall, I'm feeling... You definitely got some talk. You got some jealous friends. You got toxic big shit bitches. You got fake friends over here. So definitely be sure that you are paying attention to your friend group. Of course, it's not going to be all your friends. But if, if a name popped in your head just now, that's that. Um, there's gossip about you, all that shit. There's definitely somebody new here that you make very, very happy. But I do feel like they're going through some emotional shit. Uh, could be a Sagittarius, could be a fixed sign. I was also getting very strong earth energy as well. This person could be working on their money also. It's like, I feel like they just have a lot of things to work out before they can come forward towards you, but they do recognize the connection that you two have. Now, this shit over here, somebody is, for those of you that are dealing with this past energy, this obsessed ex, they are talking to other people. They are gaslighting you. They are texting other women, messing with multiple people. They're broke. There's a lot going on here. They're guilty as well. Like this guilty card came out for some reason. We have gold digger. Maybe they just use you for money. Um, staying because of finances. They could be abusive emotionally, physically, whatever it is. But uh, that's why Spirit's saying release your ex here. So I'm going to pull some advice from the tarot. Spirit, what is the overall advice for Aquarius? The Nine of Wands, the Page of Coins, and the Moon card here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling like with the Nine of Wands, the advice here is to protect your energy and to stand your ground. Especially for those of you that are dealing with this past energy over here. Um, stand your ground. I do feel like with the Page of Pentacles here, you were going through this for a reason. You, This is a lesson here that you're supposed to learn. The Four of Swords. Take some time to heal yourself. The Moon card again here at the bottom of the deck. So... Um, there is things that you're not seeing. The moon card is illusions. And I do know that like we're in Pisces season right now. It's Things are going to come to light here. Pisces is the moon card energy. So things are going to come to light. Things have been happening in the dark for a while even. I'm kind of going back to this fake friend energy. Maybe these friends have been fake forever and you're just now finding out about it. So I feel like shit like that is going to be happening here in Pisces season. Advice, we have the magician. The moon card keeps coming up at the bottom of the deck. So like I feel like Spirit's really trying to tell you. Um, there's, yeah, there is secrets. There are things happening behind your back and it will be revealed to you. So advice is to keep up your boundaries, protect your energy. But the magician, this is saying you have everything you need to create the life that you want. Start creating, start taking action. The hermit card, go within for your answers. Listen to your intuition. We have the three of swords here. So yeah, for some of you that are confused about a situation, it's very important to ask yourself, you know, how does this person make you feel? Um, and if it's like shit, then that's your answer. Because for some of you, it is time to release somebody here, um, whether it is friends, your ex, or whatever the case is. Um, I feel like you're going to be releasing a lot here in Pisces season. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read the traditional tarot deck, my training is down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.